So let's jump right into this. Let's get a little bit of background who you are as a licensed counselor, licensed counselor, uh, and how did you get started? I got started, I actually started off as a criminal justice major because I've always known that I wanted to help people. And then I actually get, got an internship at a um, domestic violence shelter and just seeing how much it helped women just to have a positive support, somebody to help them talk through their situations and realizing how much I impacted their life kind of helped to shift my career and wanting to go into counseling versus criminal justice. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So. How did you even get into the into that program to work with domestic uh, women dealing with domestic violence? I actually, like I said, I was a criminal justice major. I had a professor who I took in a lot of classes. We had built a great relationship with. And so she actually was the director of the domestic violence shelter. And she told me she think I would be a good fit because I finished all my courses and all I needed was an internship. And it actually ended up being a paid internship. So she actually referred me to the job. And then from there, I actually ended up staying two years after to kind of prepare to get myself back into my master's program, doing some research of like, what it even looked like to become a counselor, because I know growing up that that wasn't something that was openly talked about, like, oh, I want to be a counselor, like a lawyer or a doctor or a scientist or something like that. So for me, I had to kind of do my own research to see like, how do I get into this field? What all does this field entail and things like that? What are the career opportunities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. As a child, we probably didn't hear much about a counselor, but right now in this environment, they're like making the most and major impact in a lot of people's life because mental health is like number one right now, definitely during the pandemic. I was, you took the words out of my mouth, I was especially since COVID, it seems like that mental health has become like more aware, even insurances kind of started covering it more because that's one of the, a lot of people's concerns is like, oh, counseling is expensive or my insurance doesn't cover it. But once COVID hit, a lot of insurance companies started waiving co-pays due to the increase in like depression, anxieties, and just di 